Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I am out fishing and I'm in Tennessee. You know what I just realized is looking at this because I can see my face. I forgot, what did I forget? My sunglasses. Every time, I don't know what it is. Every single time in Tennessee fishing and I'm kind of near Nashville area. I'm fishing something called the Harpeth River. So I asked a few uh, people, uh, one including a guy by the name Brandon. Thank you, by the way, shout out to you. Thank you so much for the info of where to go. He gave me a few spots that he recommended. Um, we'll see how it is. He's not sure. He said he hadn't fished in a little while, but uh, some of this was echoed by um, some fly shops in the area. Um, so anyway, I'm at a little park with a, like a canoe drop off that apparently is free to fish. And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go out and fish. So in this river, apparently there are some holdover trout. They stock it every once in a while, but that's not what I'm going for. It is winter. Um, this is just a little bit after uh, Christmas here, just visiting my parents out, out this area. They live out here. They've only lived here maybe a year and a half to two years. So we'll see, maybe I'll come back again, hopefully, but um, there's smallmouth bass in here and that's what I'm going for. Um, even in the winter here, apparently they're, they're biting. So, oh, I gotta find the, hold on. There we go. That's open. Let's get my glasses here. Now I got my glasses. Let's do this, let's catch some fish. What do you guys think? All right guys, so here's a little canoe launch here. And obviously the fishing will be a little bit slow at this spot specifically, but wade down the river. See if I can't find something, but it's beautiful water. You can see really well into the water. It's really nice. Last night it was down below freezing and earlier this week it was definitely freezing all day. I think when we got here, it's 27 degrees in the day. So There's some deeper holes over here. Now this is smallmouth fishing, so not 100% sure here. So it might take me a minute to get a hang of it. We'll see. You guys are coming along and in the comment section, you guys let me know what I'm doing right and wrong here. So if you guys know the area, like some rocks over here, I would think would hold some. It's a little deeper right on the sides. Let's see if we can't get one. By the way, I'm fishing a micro crayfish kind of thing. They said crayfish are a food source, one of the biggest food source for these smallmouth. So. What? Yeah, that's. All right, guys, I'm gonna to switch to something a little bigger. This is a micro crayfish, so I have a feeling someone was talking about some pretty big bass in here. They're not gonna go after this. This is something I use for Rio's back home sometimes. So I switched over to that mop grub and let's see if I catch. You know what? I am going to though crimp that barb, I totally forgot to there. I don't think it's mandatory here, but I like doing it just cause it keeps the fish healthier and makes it easier to release when I catch one. So there we go. There we 
go. Well, it's a little bit less current coming up here, so that might help. I mean, many bass don't really like much current, so we'll see if that helps. So I've got a little white game changer on, a feathered game changer with a chartreuse tail. We'll see. Oh no, please, no. <laughs> Just put that on. All right, let's hope. Well, at least I got the stick back. Went just a little far with that. Now I'm doing what I highly recommend not doing, and that's fishing one of these game changers with <laughs> light tippet. I like to live dangerously, I guess, but definitely don't do that. These are expensive. They take a long time to tie. And even though I tie them, I don't want to lose one, but I didn't bring heavier tippet because I thought I was going to be trout fishing the whole time. I really did. I didn't realize that it was going to be bass, or at least that's what people tell me it's bass. These things move so well without even trying. The problem here is it's really deep. So I started walking up and it, it gets so deep. I can't, I can't move past up there. So I figure I'll try to swing a streamer through this really deep hole. Let's we'll see how that goes. I mean, Sometimes it can bring a bass up if they're in here. I'm sure they are. It is cold though, so I'm not, not really sure. Oh. No, I lost it. Was that to a fish? There's no way. I mean, I didn't feel a tail whip, but. Huh. See what I mean, guys? And they last a long time when you fish with them. They're not going to break on you. They're not going to whatever, but it's the line you're fishing with. Better than you would think. Oh, yeah. I got one. No, I don't. That was the bottom, I guess. I thought I had one. That kind of felt like a... It came out. Let's see. Let's see what happened here. No? Nothing. All right. That felt like a fish maybe, so maybe I lost it. I don't know. Again, the bottom. Okay, that definitely was the bottom. Let's see if I can get out of that. Sometimes you change angles, walk upstream a little bit or Usually up is the best, but you can sometimes wiggle it loose, but definitely not always. Yep, I don't think I'm going to this time. Whenever fishing somewhere new, I just put on something different again. Whenever fishing something new, you gotta, you gotta test things out, you know, fish different different types of flies, different techniques of fishing. So, you know, I, if you're nymph fishing, you're not catching much, throw on a streamer, throw on a dry fly. Uh, it's, it's winter, so no dry fly here, but right now, but you get the point. If you're fishing somewhere new and you're not familiar with it or what's biting, try different things. If you're trying, you know, dead drift, try a couple little jerks with it if it's a type of fly that can do that and then dead drift it and then try swinging it and then try, you know, until you get, you get what the fish want because every place is different. I mean, again, any time of year is different. It's the first time you, maybe you fished that river before or something, but not in that season or, you know, always, always just try something new. There we go. No, gosh, dang it. Alright guys, I see a couple of little bass right here. If I can catch something, that'd be nice. Oh, oh, come on. I'm gonna try another fly here. 
since they're not big bass, I'm going to throw on a bully bluegill. There we go. Let's try that coloration. I guess right now these baths baths are a little lethargic. It's hard to get a a little bite out of them. Now I'm not seeing those baths again, but they're they're back there somewhere, I'm sure. So I came to a different spot, up the road a little bit, and still not seeing anything. Oops. And, uh, but not seeing fish. This looks like nicer water, honestly. I like it a little better, but still no fish, so. It just, it might be just way too cold. This is, was a, a weird cold front that came through. These temperatures might be too much for for these fish. Well, this, I mean, I saw a couple back at that one spot, little guys. Couldn't get them to even look at my fly, which is weird, because usually the little ones are the ones that usually look. All right, so I put on that little crayfish they recommended. <coughs> we'll see how this goes. It looks like it's got like fuzzy foam on it, so it's not really sinking very well. So, oh, there we go. I just needed to. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how this works. Well, guys, I've tried everything. Pretty much hit every hole. Maybe I didn't go far enough. I don't know. But it is time for me to head back. I got family. Only was able to come out for a couple hours. But, you know, it's a beautiful river. It doesn't matter if I catch or not. It's really nice being out. Nice taking a break from all the family obligations which aren't bad they're great just sometimes it's nice to be out by yourself away from the kids for a little while you know but i had a good time unfortunately i think this is going to be a skunked trip it's not anything against tennessee fishing i think it'll probably be really good if i can come out in the summer maybe we'll see maybe one point i can come out in the summer <laughs> that almost was me in the water. Just had a follower. Looking, but they won't touch. Really nice little river. Very, very beautiful. I like it. Very pretty here. Well guys, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you fish and you don't catch. Sometimes you catch all the time. It's just kind of a crapshoot. But it was fun, had a good time. The rod I was fishing with today is the Risen 23 PS. It is my four weight. I really like it. It's a good nymphing rod, really good nymphing rod, but it, it works for everything, obviously. Really pretty rod too. Um, really nice wood insert here, but really good price. Risen, everything they make is really good price, but high quality. The LW reel, one of my favorite reels, super smooth, really smooth drag, fully sealed. I mean, really pretty reel as well. And it stands up pretty well as well. I've, I've used this quite a bit. And I mean, there's a couple little scuffs here, but not bad. It still looks really, really nice. So 
Um, I think this is like 150 bucks for the reel. This rod is one of their more expensive rods. It's in the 200 and something range. But you get 15% off of anything you buy in their shop. And they do have some $100 rods that are absolutely phenomenal, really good for the money. So go check them out. Go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for 15% off of anything you buy in that shop, in their shop. And uh, they sell more than just this. They sell all types of stuff, all the accessories you would need to fly fish. They sell flies. They sell hooks if you want to tie your own. I mean, they sell a bunch of stuff. So go check them out. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Now you go catch some fish.